Prepare to have your senses assaulted and your imaginations ignited as we hurl ourselves headlong into the gilded embrace of this architectural behemoth. Behold, as the facade looms before you like a titan of taste, daring you to enter its opulent embrace. Unfortunately, Bob dared to embrace that rail. It did not embrace him back. Luckily for him, he does not have to sit through Hamilton. But enough with the preamble, my intrepid companions. For the true peace de resistance awaits us. The stage, behold, as we stand upon the very boards where thespians of your unleash torrents of passion, drama, and melodrama upon enraptured audiences, can you feel it, the electricity in the air, the palpable tension as the curtain rises on another night of unbridled spectacle. I have been informed that this is the stage, these are the barracks, from where we will watch the jesters make fools of themselves. Yet, even as we bask in the glory of theatrical majesty, let us not forget the unsung heroes behind the scenes. The artisans and craftsmen whose tireless efforts breathe life into each production, from the elaborate set designs to the meticulously tailored costumes. Every detail is a testament to the dedication of those who labor in the shadows to illuminate the stage. Ye brave souls who dare to venture into the land of the cramped and the claustrophobic, today we set our sights upon a place where a personal space goes to die, where Le Groom is but a distant memory, and where the very notion of comfort is laughed out of existence. Now that it is over, I can finally enjoy myself. Look at this amazing curtain. I sat next to this for three hours. Feel the pulse of history quicken beneath your feet as you traverse halls bedecked with chandeliers so grand they would make the sun blush with envy. Let the decadence wash over you like a tidal wave of luxury, for within these walls, excess is not merely tolerated, it is exalted. <laughs>